the class drive folder is right on the classwork page. Now, as a teacher and as a student, you're both going to have one. So it feels a little confusing about class drive folder, but it's not actually for the class. When a Google Classroom class is created, a folder in Google Drive is created per class, per teacher, per student. So for each teacher, they're going to have a Google Classroom folder in Google Drive. And then for each class, there's going to be a folder per class. And then for each assignment, there's going to be a folder per assignment when a student turns something in. So if a student doesn't turn anything in uh, digitally, then there will be no folder for that assignment. And all of that is private for the teacher. So when we go over here to class drive folder from the teacher view, this is not really shared with the class. This is your folder. It's the folder for your class. And it has a subfolder for each assignment in that class. And of course, student work is private for you as the teacher. Now each student has a class folder, but it's the folder for the class, not a shared class folder. So a student class folder is their work that they've turned in for that class that's over there for them. And the teacher, of course, has access to all the documents, but the teacher actually does not have access to the student's folder, but they do have access to the student's documents that they have submitted through Google Classroom. So yeah, this is confusing because they both say class folder, but they're not the class folder. It's the folder for that class, for that person. So you, the teacher, logging into Google Classroom, your class folder is your folder for that class. And when a student logs into Google Classroom and goes to the classwork page, the class folder is their folder for that class and there's no mixing amongst students. So as a teacher, if you put files in the class folder, they will not see it because it's not the class folder, it's the folder for you for that 